Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash and today I'm going to be doing a review of Henchman's Story on Xbox. Now this was released on the 14th of October 2021. So it's developed by uh, Silk and Sail Entertainment, published by Top Hat Studios and they were kind enough to send me a copy for review and this is basically a visual novel where you play as a henchman working for like a supervillain and it is as crazy as it sounds it's really really good now it's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S it's uh, got smart delivery which is really cool so you get the best version available no matter what console you're playing it on and it's optimized for Xbox Series X and S with obviously 60 FPS and 4K resolutions according to the Xbox Store. So the plot basically is uh, that this is an interactive story where you play as a beleaguered uh, henchman working for a bumbling supervillain. So it says it's thanks, thankless work. Week in and week out you put on your purple spandex and get the crap beaten out of you by much stronger, much cooler people wearing much fancier spandex. But the check's clear and Lord Bedlam offers healthcare, so a job's a job, right? Each henchman have bills to pay and sometimes even henchmen can make choices that change everything. So yeah, basically the, the plot is you're a henchman working for a supervillain and obviously all sorts of stuff happens and it goes from there basically. So I first thing that jumps out about this game, it's fully voice acted. Um, it's got um, all the, the lines are sort of obviously spoken, which is really nice. It's not just sort of like sound and stuff. It's actually the full dialogue. And the cast includes some really sort of decent names on there, sort of uh, Caitlin Elizabeth, Alejandro Saab, Anthony Sardina. Uh, if you like sort of anime, some of them will probably sound sort of... They'll jump out of the page at you. Um, so especially like Caitlin Elizabeth, who has been in all sorts of stuff, Little Witch Academia. She's um, done other games as well. I probably remember her as Hilda from Realm Royale. It's a shame no one else plays that anymore, though. Um, but yeah, like I said, the voice cast is fantastic. They all do a really great job. Uh, and it, that sets this apart from a lot of other visual novels straight out of the bat. Like the full the full dialogue from start to finish pretty much is voiced, which is fantastic. So um, the game features uh, superhero satire, so it's a comedic take on the world of superheroes that revels in the ridiculous nature of its setting uh, and showcases a colourful comic book aesthetic. So the art style on this is fantastic. It's all unique. Like all the characters look fantastic. Um, I love the sort of costume designs and stuff. I love all the backgrounds. I love how the overlay, like for the text, looks like a comic book. It, it's just little things that make it really cool. And like another thing that stood out to me that made it like I, it was just so little, but I was like, oh, that's really cool. On the save menu, when you save the game, depending on what section you save it at, it's like it's a, an issue of a comic. So if you save it at a certain point, you get a different character on the cover and a different sort of issue. And I thought that was really, really cool. It's something so little, it doesn't really make a difference to the game at all. But it's just the little things where they've took the time and effort to implement them that I really like. So other things it features is colourful characters. It says, find enemies, uh, find friends, enemies, and even romance amongst a lively cast of villains, heroes, and fellow henchmen. So yeah, the cast is all really cool. All the characters are sort of unique. Uh, their dialogue's really cool. And like I said, I love the, the Lord Bedlam character. He makes me chuckle. Some of the dialogue is stupidly funny. Um, I, I, it, it, it's hard to explain it on a sort of video review, but the dialogue, I, I think, is really, really well written. Uh, meaningful choices. So your decisions directly influence the story. It, this is correct. Like I say, if you've watched any of my other reviews, I love a visual novel where you actually have decisions to make and that affects it. And you're picking... Uh, dialogue options constantly like every sort of couple of bits of dialogue you've got a, a decision to make basically so there's loads of decisions and um, they affect how people see you which then eventually changes obviously how the, the game progresses and also there's like combat things where you like have to decide how you're going to fight and I thought that was really cool as well 
And there are multiple endings, like all um, great visual novels. This one has uh, 11 endings, so they go from being supervillain-based endings, obviously because you're a henchman for a supervillain, uh, you can rise all the way up, basically, and there's loads of different sort of things there. Or there's like the good guy superhero ending, and you can sort of turn on your sort of boss, basically. But, like I say... Um, there's loads of different combinations so it's well worth going through them they also have like multiple sort of semi-animated sort of cutscenes and sort of endings which i really liked as well so they've done a good job of that it's not just a static image as such some of them have sort of uh, interactions and sort of animations on them as well which i really really liked and like i say yeah the game itself You'll probably put in, if you're playing through it, uh, you'll get through a playthrough in a few hours. But like I say, if you want to get all of the the different playthrough endings, there is an achievement link to that. Now, you could put in 10, 15 hours into this game easily just playing it through. And because it's voice acted, you could stick it on sort of autoplay. That's how I did it later on. Stick it on autoplay and it just plays out and then you start, you can do all the options when it it comes up and i think that's the best way to play it uh if you're just into it for the achievements i know a lot of people that watch our videos are just looking for achievement games this is one of those games you can probably fly through in an hour and a bit um if you just wanted to use like a, a guide i highly recommend you don't do that though because like i said it's got such a good quality uh it's got very good sort of it's 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 really well made it, they've put a lot of effort into this it shows it's got the production values of a, a much better game this isn't sort of a sort of asset flip visual novel just to get your money for achievements there's a lot of time and effort going into the writing the ui the artwork the voice acting it, it's a very very complete package so i highly recommend that you play through it at least once or twice maybe go for a, a superhero ending and go for a super villain ending and then um pick up use a guide to pick up all the achievements now most of the achievements you'll just get by playing through getting the different endings and stuff like that uh, so you don't have to worry about missing anything the, the majority of them are just for like getting this ending getting that ending doing certain things during the game they're the ones you may miss and then there is an achievement basically for sort of getting all of the endings and stuff like that as well but like i say i give this like i say in visual novels this is probably either my favorite or in the top two visual novels i've played this year it's it's really really good like i, said, I can't recommend it enough um I highly recommend you pick it up. It would be a 9 out of 10 for me as visual novels go. So obviously this isn't for everyone. It is a visual novel. But for a visual novel rating, this would get a solid 9 out of 10. Like I say, it's really, really good. I'd love to see more of this. I think the universe, like I say, with the superheroes and stuff, it, 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 they could do more of these and I'd love to see them. Like I say, some of these characters I'd love to see brought back and expanded upon as well. So... Fantastic work by the, the developer, uh, Silk and Sail Entertainment. They've done a really, really, really good job. So check it out. It's on sale on Xbox right now at $14.99. So for the amount of time you'll get through it, the quality, I can't recommend it enough uh, for those visual novel fans out there. Like I say, if you're an achievement hunter, it's a really easy achievement game. It's not going to take you a lot of uh, effort. But you'll probably enjoy it as well, which is what gaming is all about, isn't it? So check it out, and yeah, hopefully we see more from this awesome dev in the future. But that's that for this video, like I say. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like and a subscribe. We're so close. I think we're about 13 and also subscribers away from 500. So it would mean a lot to us if you could hit that subscribe button and give us your support. And keep an eye out on the channel. We've got loads of gaming reviews coming I've been a bit behind. We've had a bit of a break over the last week because I've not been very well. You can probably still hear it in my voice. Uh, I'm not 100%. But the daily review videos are back now and there'll be loads of them coming uh, in the next week. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you soon for more videos. Bye for now.